You are looking at the end of an era on the UW Madison campus. The UW Varsity Band held the first of its three spring concerts tonight in front of a sellout crowd at the Cole Center. And Saturday is the grand finale for the band's beloved and enduring director. Mike Leckrone is getting ready to pass the baton. Before he says goodbye, he shared some memories and his plans for the future with our Susan Simon. of the band brings to life the heart and soul of a university. There will never be another quite like Mike. Mike, you know, they say at a moment like this, your life sort of flashes before your eyes. Is that what's happening this week? Every day. Every, every day? day? Every day somebody comes up and says either, thanks for what you've done with the band, thanks for the years. This weekend marks a bittersweet milestone for Mike LeCrone. Uh, after 50 years and at 82, Mike is retiring after leading the Spring Varsity Band concert for the final time. I've, I've heard you say to your band members so many times to remember these moments of happiness. Moments of happiness. Are you doing that yourself? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, that's the title of the program this oh, year. Oh, it is? Yeah. We, we've, on the, the program that we're we're handing out in the Cole Center. It's, it's called Moments of Happiness. I've done what I've told the students to do, you know, take it in and remember it because it might be something that you have to call on a little bit later in life. You've provided me with so many moments of happiness. Tears flowed in August when Mike told the band this would be his final year. I can't even begin to state it, but I will tell you, those moments of happiness are what has gotten me through any difficult time. At his last home football game, alumni of the band returned to Camp Randall to say thank you. Is it true that you remember almost all of your kids? You can remember their names and... I, I remember them from way, way, way back. And now some of them have changed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but the interesting thing is I can always remember their instrument immediately, no matter who they were. If I see someone come up who was a trombone player in the 70s, I, I would know right away trombone. At his final dress rehearsal at the Cole Center, Mike and the band practiced for five hours and prepared for one last legendary fly-in. It's hard to express what Mike has meant to the band and what they have meant to him. We gave each other a sort of a cooperative thing that we could do, and uh, we all feel it. I think anybody who's been in the band even one year senses that uh, camaraderie that's a part of the band, and, I, and uh, that's what makes it work. For, that's the reason I've done it for all these years is it's to have that feeling over and over again. The traditions Mike started, the fifth quarter, and the chicken dance will all live on. But as the school year comes to an end, Mike can't quite bring himself to start packing. How long have you been in this office? Since 1969. And, uh, the year you came? Yep. You've had the same office yep, the whole time? Yeah, and it was... Uh, We've decorated a little bit. We Mike's campus office is a museum of five decades of Badger memories, but one stands out above all the rest. The Rose Bowl. That, That's that, the first one? Yeah, and that was, that was special, such a special event for me. It still remains as the highlight of, of what I did. It was an amazing time. That 1993-94 season was, was, was just so unbelievable. Everything worked. The response when the band just made an appearance around the corner or came down the street, people could catch, catch a glimpse of the, uh, the the way the people responded to it. It, it was just a moment anybody who was there would never forget it. Well, people may not remember that it started in Japan, the Road to the Rose Bowl that year. Did the band go to Japan? We, uh, we took 70 people, and that's that's another thing. I mean, here this was for most bands that would be a major a major touring thing, but but now when you talk about it, oh yeah, we were in Japan too. How many? Rose Bowls have you been to? Six. And is there ever anything like the first one? No, not like the first one. They're Mike has had his share of tough times, too. He lost his wife of 62 years, Phyllis, two years ago, and had double bypass heart surgery after that. But as he starts this new chapter, Mike remains vigorous 
and hopeful. So what are you going to do in retirement? Are you going to stay in Madison? I am staying in Madison. Uh, my kids are all in the area, and I'm going to plan to stay here. I probably will try to get out of the cold weather occasionally, <laughs> <laughs> which I didn't have the opportunity to do before. But before he says goodbye, there will be one more iconic moment as Mike LeCrone takes his final bow. That final varsity. It, it will be hard, but uh, it, I think it's going to be one of those very special, special feelings that I have. And it's that moment of happiness that uh, there may be a little bit of sadness along with it, but it's that, it's, that's the part that I'm going to really, really remember. Get chills, don't He's you? He's one of a kind, isn't he? Mm. Well, tickets for the remaining concerts, unfortunately, they're sold out, but you can still see Mike's farewell. Yeah, Wisconsin Public Television will live stream the concert Saturday night at 7 p.m. at WPT.org. We wish, wish Mike the very best. He's been so good to all of us here at Channel 3 through the years. Tough shoes to fill. Very like much so. Best of luck to whoever does it. We do hope Mike does get some warm weather. In that his, would be uh, nice. <laughs>